and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today I'm going to be going over the market. We got a market talk in store for you guys now. I don't know when I did the last one. I always forget because, you know, when you post so many videos on a daily basis, you really lose track of when you post things. Like, things feel like yesterday. Things feel like a month ago, but, like, it was three days ago. You never really know when you really post things, guys. But a few of the comments I've been getting, by the way, that I need a haircut. Honestly, you guys are probably right. This beard's getting way too long. I got to get this thing shaved off. I haven't gotten a haircut in, like, two months. Uh, I get really distracted with YouTube, and I don't, I don't see the light of day. But... I should probably get one. I haven't gotten. I got one haircut for the start of Madden, and that was the last time I got one. So I really gotta go soon, guys. But besides the point, you guys are just commenting about it. So I thought I'd. I thought I'd bring it to attention. But guys, let's get into this video. So the market lately has been crashing, and at one point it was like crashing, and then it was crashing, and then it was crashing, and it just keeps going down. It hasn't really gotten much better, and things actually progressively keep getting worse, which is why I bought quite a few players. I'll probably end up selling a lot of them though because I want to have coins for most feared. But guys, trust me. If you ever want to buy some players, if you like them, not like buy them because they're good investments or anything, but like if you wanted any players, you could probably start picking some guys up. I don't recommend going all in because I do definitely want to save coins for most feared. But as a whole, like there's definitely a lot of opportunities to get some guys cheaper than their typical market value. Now guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Quick little intro. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. We're so close to 10K. We're 200 subscribers away. So let's make that happen as soon as possible, boys. Every single one of you, brand new, smash the sub button. You won't regret it. Come join the 10K family before it's too late. Comment down below what your move on the market is this, like this week. What do you guys think of it? Are you buying or are you selling? And also turn on that noti bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video, boys. And my Twitter link will be down below in the description. If you need to hit me up for anything, go over there. Drop a follow. We almost have a thousand followers in there also, boys. But let's get into this. So as you can see, Will Hernandez, the best left guard in the league right there on the Giants he is 8.6k so these are definitely down down right now if I'm seeing those for 8.6k let's actually filter that out and to show you can get worse 8.5 let's filter it out even more to the Giants and see what we're rocking with right here let's see let's see 8.3k with the right filter you can probably find 80s for 7k right now which I believe is pretty unreal 80s don't really tell you the whole story they don't like you know they don't change too much but they do let you know that wow like 80s are down which means the market's probably down by the way, this Kyler Murray's trash. Maybe on a budget team he's good, but I used him. Pretty garbage, not gonna lie. I used him in that gameplay with David Johnson. David Johnson was a beast. Kyler Murray, not so much. So they say they're 14K. I really don't believe that. Uh, they should definitely not be that expensive. Let's see, let's see. Took 12K. Okay, 12K for an 82, not horrible. What's 83s looking like? 83s are at 17K, it says. So 17K, 17K, 16K. So looking like about 16k probably should be a little bit lower but again the market's been crashing a lot maybe that is the new normal i'm just not used to it let's see 84s or 23k but it looks like are there any better in 84s i do not know yes there are 26k so 24k 26k kind of the new norm for 84s a few weeks ago guys the norm was about like 30 something k and by the way if you haven't realized training is very down right now i think i bought like 10,000 training yesterday so if you guys ever wanted training now would be one of those times to buy those cards too. Let's see what the 85s are going for. 32K looks like. 32K for an 85 is very, very cheap, guys. I, what this market has been doing lately, people aren't even used to it because it keeps crashing every day. So until it actually stops crashing and people can like settle down and really look at prices, you don't really realize how cheap things are. An 86 for 41K, 86 for training used to be like a 70K, 65K investment into training. Now it's 41K right there. Let's see what 87s are looking like. Are there any better in 87s? 60K for an 87. And that's just like, and that's just looking through veterans. You never know if there's anything cheaper. Let's see flashbacks. Any 87 flashbacks are cheaper. 63K, 62K. Okay, so it's looking like 60K, 59K, 58K. Looking like 58K for an 87. Ooh, it was a 54K right there. That's a really good training option right there. It was a snipe, but still. Guys, if you guys ever want a training, take advantage now while you still can. I don't know how long everything will be this dead for. This could be the new norm. That remains to be seen. 88 or 84K. What are the 89 market looking like? The 89 market has been crazy cheap. The 90 market too. 100, uh, 115K. Let's go over to Legends. That's where I've been finding a lot of my good values for training. Legends real quick. 88s are 82K right there. Well, that's a snipe. Really, they're 87K. 89s are 105K. So 105 for training for an 89. I don't know how much of a snipe that is. Ken Houston right there. Michael Strahan. Let's check out these 90s for training because I did use some few 90s for training yesterday. 
165. I found Willie Brown for like 145, 150 yesterday, so that was a pretty good training value. That's what I used. But these legends right here sitting at 165. Let's see what the Mud Heroes are looking like. The Mud Heroes are really, really cheap. 165. Guys, if you want any Mud Heroes, again, most of the guys you're going to find here are probably like the bottom barrel ones anyways. All the ones that I didn't even rank because there's a reason why they're that cheap. A few good ones like Deion Jones are up here, DeForest Buckner, Xavier Howard. They're not, I just didn't recommend them out of the pack. But they're still good. Kyle Fuller's pretty cheap. He's pretty good. Delaney Walker's pretty good. Chris Harris is pretty good. Greg Olson's pretty good. He's already kind of de getting down there. Uh, Jalen Ramsey and Saquon are obviously the top options, which is why they're at 257 and then they're at 280. They want to be one of the, him and I literally, my top three options are Barkley, Adams, and uh, Saquon. Oh, my bad. Barkley, Adams, and Ramsey. And of course, they're the top three price guys uh, by average on the market. Now the Legends guys, with Legends Saturday being today, which you guys should have seen already, Legend prices will be coming down tremendously. And by, by tremendously, like five to 10K is tremendously because that's like 10% of what they're worth, five to 10%. So stay on the lookout for that. If there's any Legends you guys want, check them out today. Steve Young might break below 200K today, as will Gay Say uh, Gail Sayers and Anthony Munoz most likely. Willie Brown might even hit like the 140 range again. Lawrence Taylor might be found for below 200K also. Same with Jim Brown. Same with Shannon Sharp. Brian Erlocker should probably hit too low, low 200s today. And I don't mean overall today, like all day. I mean like when packs drop, when it, get, when it hits its worst, that's probably where they'll hit around. I still want Kevin Mawai, but he has to hit a lot lower than that. And then obviously stay on the lookout for the new legends, which will be Ed Reed and um, Greg Little. or I always forget his name. Larry Little. Larry Little and Ed Reed today, those are the new legends. Stay on the lookout for their prices and what they're going for. See if we can find them. Well, let's cover for the 92 guys. Now the 92s have taken quite a big hit. I'm super excited to actually pick up some of these cards eventually. What I am excited for now, I guess, is Redux cards. So Redux cards, the first series, are kind of underwhelming. But there's so many good limited time cards in this new series, such as Alvin Kamara, Aaron Donald, George Kittle, Jadavion Clowney, Deion Sanders, Randy Moss. There's so many guys going to get Redux cards. And as you guys can see, Redux cards actually come down in value quite a bit to like a decent enough to buy price. Like Michael Vick, 625K, which is crazy cheap for a Michael Vick card. You've never seen in history at this point in the year, you've never seen a Michael Vick card below a million coins. And I know that for a fact, unless the card was asked, but there's never an asked Michael Vick. But the Redux cards, I guess that's kind of exciting. It does suck how they did it this year. So pretty much to avoid making it so that everyone can have limited times with power of passing with training, they made it so limited times could not be power of pass with training anymore. But now ironically, no one gets limited times. No one cares for them because that's only 1% of Madden can afford them. So on the bright side of the end of the series, they do come back into packs as a Redux card. That goes for a lot cheaper. But the issue with that card is that you don't get it to the next series. So like if, if a guy, like if Aaron Donald comes out for me in this series, right? I want Aaron Donald on my team all year. So now I have to wait a month until series three to actually upgrade Aaron Donald until he's a Redux card. So pretty much it's like every limited time is like a roadblock this year. And they're giving all big names um, limited times, which I don't like. You shouldn't have to get a limited time card to get any of your favorite players. I understand, guys. Like I've been telling, I've been talking to Xerxes about this about all the limited times that should be in the game, like Brian Finneran, like those out those outsider guys. Like they're not like they're big names, but they're not staples of man. Like Brian Finneran, Bo Jackson, let's just say like Leon Sandcastle, um, Calvin Johnson, free safety. Those are guys that should be limited time. Julio, free safety, like Evans, free safety, like weird guys that like Bo Jackson at uh, wide receiver quarterback. That should be kind of like limited time, cool cards. I don't think they should be given like Deion Sanders limited time, Randy Moss limited time, Vic limited time, Bo Jackson did get one already, but that one's okay. Patrick Willis, okay, because he's retired. I get it. But I don't think they should be given every single player. Kittle got one. Um, Kamara got one. Donald got one. Clowney got one. Now, all four of those guys aren't affordable by, aren't be, you can't afford them by the most standards of people right now, which does really suck. I don't really like how they're going about that. But on the bright side, guys like Luck have gotten a lot cheaper. And guys, if you don't know, I didn't really think this luck is a monster. People have been telling me about it. I didn't believe him. Powered up and chemmed up all the stats, throwing or above a 90 and hit the threshold. And you can get escape artist. I didn't believe people when they said he was overpowered. And then I played people online with dashing Deadeye, which means on the run he could throw perfect passes. Oh, and trust me, they run and they just span, they hold it and it's a perfect pass every time to wherever they're going, which is definitely huge because when you're on the run, you typically distract defenders and get guys wide open but because of the way madden plays that pass typically just air mails or go hits the floor or goes completely out of bounds or something but trust me andrew luck has been killing me online he's honestly probably the best quarterback in the game i don't really want to make the upgrade though because i anticipate another quarterback come out soon similar to him maybe a mahomes that has similar speed and um some passing stats but i'm waiting for that but if they do release an 80 something speed quarterback with uh, with those kind of throwing stats with escape bars, that might be the move from now on in this game. I thought it was the 90 speed with Lamar, and it is right now, but his passing, I do really feel it sometimes, guys. But that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's market talk. 
pretty much in essence you can buy if you need if you feel if you find something you want wow camara's 800k already i really want that camara but i'm not gonna be stupid anyways if you find something you want don't hesitate to buy it i don't think it's a time to invest because the market's just fluctuating too much obviously some of my heroes might come up something might come down but if you want something to buy and keep go ahead by all means do it i won't hold you back on that one because obviously the prices are cheap enough but i wouldn't go all in investing on the market because i don't really see much changing just yet but guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. You won't regret it. Turn on that noti bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Go down below, hit the twink, the Twitter link down below. Drop a follow. Hit me up on Twitter. And guys, make sure to like this video. Let's get this video to 250 likes. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.